Some of you may have missed out on this announcement, but we're getting a free 5-star weapon selector box and all you have to do is log in any day from July 20th to August 22nd to claim it. Now, if you're wondering which weapon to pick, then this is the right video, but you should do your research and listen to other opinions as well. Every content creator and theory crafter will have their own opinions on how best to use it, but I'll be aiming to give recommendations based on good long-term investment. So first, as you can see here, we have Alloy Truth as the first priority. This has been the best bang for the buck since launch because it gives a massive attack buff for your main DPS and it can be used on any operator with SMG. So Moxer Shadowka is not the only one who can use Alloy Truth. You can also use it on Life Wild Hunt and 4 Star Journal. It's a very valuable weapon that has been useful for a long time. The second priority for 5 star weapon selection is Neptune Nova, which is the signature weapon for Katya and is the best choice for a DPS weapon out of all of these. So if you have Katya, then you would want to pull for this weapon if you care about TPS. And Katya is not weak. She is still in SSS Plus because she's an incredible sustain Frost Ballistic DPS who is good in most of the content. The third priority is Pine Aurora, which is the signature weapon of Kaguya who has been the best support since her launch and always been at the top of my tier list because she's just always been the most useful and universal support. It gives a pretty substantial damage buff and if you have it, you can run teams that have Kaguya with Pine Aurora and Redacted with Tier 5 Prismatic Igniter. It's a really good support weapon. The fourth priority is Anti-Evil Ward, the signature weapon for Chen Sheng, who's kind of losing her place in the meta and going down the tier list, but it's still the second best DPS weapon out of these choices. The fifth priority is Eccentric Joker, the signature weapon for Tess, and if you have Tess, then I highly recommend pulling for it for its damage buff and full squad max U energy increase. It's a very good support weapon if you like to speedrun your simulation and a must if you're aiming for the top of the top. The sixth priority is Blitzing Fangs, the signature weapon of Ichil. If you're going to use Ichil, you need to have her signature weapon to really get the most out of her, especially for neural speedruns. The attack buff is pretty massive for some of the operators, and you can see which DPS she's good for in the team building guide. The last priority is 16 Psyche, the signature weapon of Haru, whose best weapon for bossing is actually Star Ocean. So 16 Psyche is not worth it if you're trying to pull a weapon that helps you in neural simulation. The only reason you would pick it is if you like using Haru for mobbing in general content and just want her to be stronger for some reason. Now, you don't have to pick one of these weapons. You can also choose to get 30 weapon components instead, which will allow you to purchase a dupe of a 5-star weapon you already own from the shop. For this, the top priority is again Alloy Truth because you can go for the best DPS weapon options like Nightborn Crown for life and Uninvited Adieu for Cherno but if you have a roster where picking Alloy Truth helps buff multiple of your operators in neural simulation then it's definitely the best choice for investment in my opinion. The next priority is Nightborn Crown for life infinite sight because even though Cherno is broken, life will probably be incredibly broken once Penny comes out and you invest in life sufficiently. The damage increase for life with her signature weapon is also pretty big and she's probably not getting out of meta anytime soon. So this is my general recommendation for the best DPS weapon choice from the box, but it's just my opinion based on a prediction. So, Take that with a grain of salt. 
The next weapon you could go for is Uninvited Adieu for Chano Enigma who's an absolutely broken DPS since her launch and she's good for most of the content so you can use her pretty much everywhere. She's also the best for most of the new world bosses right now so this is a great option if you want to speedrun for faster times. Then we have Crown Flail for Sirius Xana who's incredible and super super strong as an ult nuker and this weapon gives a pretty big buff to her damage so if you already own both of them this is a good weapon to tier 2. Next we have Neptune Nova for Katya and as I already explained she's a pretty good DPS and if you already have all the rest of the above weapons at tier 2 then this is probably the next best DPS weapon option. Lastly we have Pine Aurora for Akashia Kaguya which is a very good investment as since she's a universal support you would be buffing the damage of multiple DPS but uh, it would also specifically be very good for supporting Katya and Life Wild Hunt. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this video useful and have a nice day.